on Dragon Ball Z. And now, the conclusion. And then after that, he's all upset, even still, well, he was more just accepting by this point, because he calls Kakarot the man when he sees him trying to fight Kid Buu. But he's still kind of disappointed that Goku is, like, ahead of him, definitely when they were fighting and he took on the Majin power. But again, he shouldn't have been that disappointed, because Goku was in Otherworld for, like, seven years, and I don't... It, it's kind of fuzzy on how time passes there, but you get, like kind of an infinite stamina, sort of, or because time doesn't really exist, it's easier to train and exert your power more, which is how Goku gets Super Saiyan 3. So Vegeta's all upset that Goku could do that and he couldn't, but it's like, there's no physical way to do it on Earth, unless you're like, two half Saiyans fusing. Now, I'm sure Gohan could have done it, but they decided mystic power or whatever is different from a multiplier effect that Super Saiyan forms have that is better. I don't know. The half Saiyans could probably do it, but like, Vegeta's not gonna be able to do it in... at all. Goku couldn't fucking do it if he was still on Earth, I bet. It's not even that good of a form. Goku even said it's only useful in Otherworld, where time is nothing, and you can just hold the form. It's kind of what, like I said, it's kind of what let him learn Super Saiyan 3 in the first place. And then even though I kind of struggle to consider every, anything after canon, I guess it technically is, in Dragon Ball Super, who's the one who advances Super Saiyan Blue to another form? Vegeta. Goku learns Ultra Instinct, which is some bullshit about tapping into your instincts and learning to, like, move with the flow of the fight or whatever and move your, your limbs without thinking about it. So really, like, anybody could learn it. I mean, it, Beerus used it, and he's not a Saiyan. He doesn't transform. Vegeta could also probably learn Ultra Instinct, but he's too bound up and dickish. But who's the one who fucking powered up and got Super Saiyan Blue too? Vegeta. I said that. And supposedly it's, like, as strong as Goku using Kao Ken times 10 as Super Saiyan Blue. Somewhere around there. I mean, he fucking beats Toppa, Top, whatever, in his god. I can't fucking talk. His god of destruction form. Like Vegeta uses self destruct attack and manages to not blow himself up because he's that powerful. And it just kicks Toppa out of the arena. Overcomes his god of destruction power. And that's without using some other world king bullshit attack thing technique. That's just his own power. Sure, Goku would probably do that someday, but he didn't. He hasn't done it yet. So yeah, Vegeta, even though I kind of question my own arguments throughout the video, Vegeta definitely does have some, like, more leeway than he gives himself. I mean, Goku had a lot of advantages that helped power him up, usually connected to being in Otherworld for long periods of time to train. Shut up! And also, Vegeta was the one that was able to power up in Super Saiyan 2 and actually, like, do some damage to Beerus. I think he was the first person to actually land any legitimate hits on Beerus. Now, that's sort of that whole anime getting angry power-up thing. But still, Goku in Super Saiyan 3 couldn't do anything. But yeah, Goku's definitely benefited a lot from being in other world training. And then being the first to have, like, gravity chamber technology. Also, other things that make him dumb that aren't related to Goku, but kind of are, but aren't really about his power. He killed Nappa and he wanted Gohan dead. <coughs> like I was saying earlier. <coughs> There's like no Saiyans left. And he's just like, fuck you, Nappa, you lost. Die. I mean, that's kind of the Saiyan way, but still. And then he leaves Goku alone to like deal with the Ginyu Force. He's like, fuck you, bye. Like, it's two Saiyans versus the Frieza army, and Gohan's there too, and he's just kind of, like, leaving them to die repeatedly. And he wanted Immortality to beat Frieza, but there's, like, a problem with that. <laughs> he assumed he would just live long enough to become stronger than Frieza. Like, what if Frieza just keeps beating his ass for eternity? 
Eternity. Eternity. I mean, nobody even knew whether or not Frieza could get stronger at the time. Everybody knew Frieza was just like some fucking spoiled brat that was born as strong as he was. And it turns out later on, he can get stronger and make a new form for himself. So immortality against Frieza, I don't know. That's not a safe bet. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have relied on that so much. That was Vegeta's ultimate plan. Just fucking hide and train for a bit. Like, maybe take Krillin and Dende and leave the planet, and just have Krillin keep on blasting you while Dende heals. Why'd you only do that once, anyway? Like, I know Dende gets killed eventually, but... He just lets it happen once, and then he's like, I'm a Super Saiyan, time to go fight Frieza now. Idiot. He's my favorite character, but... Dumb. Oh, and then he thought Majin Power was going to, like, help him. Like, he says he, he wanted the power because it was going to close the gap between him and Goku. But, like, the main reason was it also corrupts people that get infected with it. Affected. And he wanted to be evil again because he thought his more ruthless side was what would let him beat Goku. But it's like, Goku's super powerful and he's a good guy. He's a terrible father, terrible husband, terrible family man. But he's a good guy. He's... Strong as fuck. As a matter of fact, Nappa's a bad guy, he was shit. Raditz is a bad guy, he's not considered shit. I don't know, the bad guys usually tend to lose. Don't really know what Vegeta thought was gonna help him win by being ruthless again. He's still a ruthless fighter. I... I don't know, he was at his... I don't know, man. Stop feeling so bad about being weaker than Goku, and... Don't make dumb life choices. I guess he is kind of over that now, though. Now that they're all... Oh! I know something, Charmy! Vegeta, it's implied he basically learned Super Saiyan God just by being Vegeta. He just kind of, like, kept training with Whis, and eventually just learned Super Saiyan God on his own. They never really say he did the ritual. I think he even says he kind of just did it. He just trained with Whis enough... So it's also been said he absorbed God Key from, like, Whis during the training, but still, one way or another, he learned Super Saiyan God himself. And then went on to perfect Super Saiyan Blue with a second form. Is he really weaker than Goku, or is Goku... does he need to have his performance tested? You decide, Wormon. Come on, teach me how can. Who'd win, Vegeta or Stingmon? Tell <laughs> me in the comments below. Please.